-hmm. No, it's never, never good to lose. Um, it's a tough loss. And we played pretty good, but just not good enough to get the win. But um, there's nine more games left, and we'll see them again. So I look forward to a uh, quick turnaround Wednesday. So look forward to Wednesday. Uh, first of all, congratulations uh, to the Osha for a win. I think if we won today, you know, I think that we deserve it, you know. But in the end, how to say, in the end of the game, we didn't have luck. Uh, our two <coughs> best shooters were, had wide open shots, Marko Filipovic and uh, Ty. Uh, they didn't score, you know. <coughs> but. I will not talk about uh, <clears throat> I will not talk about open shots, you know, because this is not mistake. Mistake is that we start the game, especially in the first quarter, with nine turnovers, uh, seven turnovers, until the half, uh, half time we made. We had uh, nine turnovers, and from that nine turnovers, you know, because first idea, especially if you play against Osha on their court, you know, because. Our idea was uh, that we don't want turnovers, turnovers without reason, because they are very good team in fast break. And uh, <clears throat> in whole game we had too much turnovers, 18. This is this is too much for three games if you want to win. Uh, and. Uh, some part of the game, you know, generally we stick the game plan. We lead, how to say, on this game, 38 minutes. This is very good. But still, when we are, when we were up by, I don't know, five, six, seven points, you know, we still, until that, we made, uh, how to say, too much, little mistakes. You know, I am proud of my team. Of my on my of my players, you know, they practice uh, this week very good. You know, we try to prepare them. We like a staff. We try to prepare them as good as possible, and I think that we do that. But uh, nobody know that uh, James was not here 11 or 12 days. You know. Uh, and we missed uh, Remy, you know, a lot, and Benny. Uh, we have big problems with, uh, how to say, with, with injuries, and we couldn't practice normally. But <clears throat> we don't have time now to, because we lost the game, <clears throat> we don't have time now to cry and to, uh, because we have to prepare now after three days we play one more game, and in front of us is nine more games we will not give up if we will be if we will play like we play today to the end of the season i am not afraid um definitely it was definitely a tough one we uh you know we had a couple weeks off and maybe that's why we had a you know bad first half but you know we got moving we got it together in the second half and that's all that matters is we got the win so i'm just real proud of us for uh getting through it mentally and just finishing the game strong Először is gratulálok a csapatomnak a győzelemhez. Várható volt, hogy ez a két hét szünet, úgyhogy jó ritmusban voltunk, az nekünk pont nem jött jól. Nehezen jöttünk vissza a mérkőzésbe, de a második fél időben sikerült csapatként kosárlabdáznunk. Még úgy is, hogy igen, csúnyán elvesztettük a repattanó csatát, de mellette viszont az a különbség az visszajött az eladott labdákba, amiket mi jobban kontrolláltunk. És mikor elkezdtünk csapatként játszani, akkor 17 asszisztunkat össze is, össze is sikerült szedni. Ez volt a kulcs. Tudtuk, hogy itt minden mérkőzés ilyen nehéz lesz. Tudtuk, hogy mindenkinek mekkora tét van ezeken a mérkőzéseken. Karaktert mutattunk, harcoltunk egymásért, amiben amellett, hogy büszke vagyok az egész csapatra is nagyot harcoltak, és ezen az úton kell tovább mennünk. Külön kiemelném még Ruják Andrást, aki a második fél időben hatalmas tartást adott a csapatnak azzal a védekezéssel, sokat szor már, amit ő ott megmutat. 
és ugyanígy csapatként kell tovább dolgoznunk. Remélem, hogy sikerült most a ritmus felvenni, és dolgozunk tovább azért, hogy minél sikeresebbek legyünk ebben a szakaszban is. Szurkolinak köszönjük a biztatást, a legnehezebb pillanatokban is sok energiát adtak nekünk, ami nagyon fontos.